Howdy do guys and gals, so this is Banana from Neckbeard Society. And today guys I'm gonna show you how you can install Debian with um, the Bachi desktop environment in a minimalist way. Now I've seen videos on YouTube where they throw Bachi on top of a full Debian GNOME installation. Sure you can do that, but in my humble opinion there is a better way to set this up. So I'm gonna show you how to install Debian Bachi as an ultimate minimalist. I said that before didn't I? First of all you want to hit enter on the neckbeard installer, the thing without a GUI, this one that only says install, hit enter. Then select your language and keyboard mapping. Most things should be pretty much self-explanatory. And by the way, before I forget to mention it, we are on Debian version 12.8.0. The next one here, hostname you leave as default. No domain name. And also leave root account and root password empty to lock the root account for security purposes. Then you want to enter your account name, your username. For me it's B-A-N-A-N-A -A -A and a super secure password. What I like to do in the partitioning tab is to select guided, press enter on this, press enter on that, and then on this screen I manually delete all the partitions and set up only one partition in ext4 because I don't need a swap drive in my virtual machine. We don't have any extra media, select no on this one. And in this step you select your mirror according to your location. No proxy on this one. Now here on the software selection tab, as I said it before, this is a minimalist approach, which means I'm gonna unselect all of those and smash continue. Install grub as your bootloader. And we are all set to reboot. So there you have it, the Bachi desktop environment. Of course, this ain't the Bachi desktop. And this is a terminal thingy, aka the command line, aka the neckbeard interface. That means and the next step in this terminal thingy here is installing Bachi. Type in sudo apt install 
Bungee Dash Desktop. Enter your password. Go through the packages it wants to install if you want. And type in Y and press Enter. After we got the DE installed, we need a display manager. But she utilizes LightDM. Type in sudo apt install LightDM. In order to install more things when we are on the desktop, we are going to need a terminal, a text editor, and maybe a web browser. Here I'm going for Kitty, Vim, and Firefox. Done. Reboot the system. Let's hop on the desktop. Here in LightBM, put in your credentials and enter the budget desktop. this. Okay, I see you have to select the budget desktop on the top first. There you go, the budget desktop. can see we only got the bare minimum of programs here. It's only like six, seven programs installed. And in order to theme this thing, we have to get some more programs. Wait, I also noticed we don't have a file manager yet. But first things first, let's change the resolution to something more reasonable. All right, let's hop on Kitty. and install Plank, a doc menu, Nautilus, the file manager, and Synaptic, which is a GUI for apt, which comes in handy in a second. Go through the things it wants to install, if you want. I um, actually don't want to, though. Press Y and enter. Exit the terminal and see what we got. No icons we got apparently. This is Nautilus. Nice. Ah, oh, Nautilus fixed my icons. Very nice. And uh, this is Plank, the dock menu. Okay, so I'm gonna tinker around a little bit. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna speed the video up. Feel free to watch it or skip it. Anyways, see ya in a bit.
again. We are jumping right into Synaptic, as I mentioned before, and this is a GUI version of apt, in which you can see all the packages and that are available on Debian. With that said, you can use it to search for themes like GTK themes, icon and cursor themes, and even backgrounds. Basically all theme stuff there is. If you found something, you can mark it for installation and click on apply later when you are done marking all the things you want to install. Yeah, it will also install all the dependencies automatically. After you're done searching, you could press apply now. But what I'm gonna do instead is exit out of Synaptic and show you a second method, which is installing all of that via terminal using apt. Here we are in the terminal, and hopefully you remember all the packages we just looked up. So this was gnome-backgrounds, right? Orcus dash GTK dash theme. Right, right. And Papyrus icon theme. Hit it. Enter your PW. And done. This is almost it. I'm gonna exit the terminal, reboot the system, and speed it up again. See you at the end of the video. Did it! This is the final result and also the end of the video. I hope you found it somewhat helpful and educating. Smash like and subscribe, share it with your cat and see you in the next one.